be afraid to go through it again. It wasn't always on, but if you planned things out, I, why I didn't, you know, sweet. I had, you had to really be on your toes and plan them out so that everybody got what they needed when they needed it, <laughs> like in school staff and, mm -hmm. and places they want to go, mm -hmm. like they went to the clubs, you know, and different things. And, but, uh, and he was always good to help, uh, you know, your dad. Then took them uh, when they wanted to go to a club, or maybe the waiter of the one that they went to, the club they went to, would pick them up, but then he'd have to go pick them. They'd take them to the place, but then he'd have to come and get them. Mm. Grandpa would? Yeah. yeah. He was always good to do that. Mm -hmm. I remember riding around in this blue pickup. Yeah. When they'd still let kids do that. Yeah. In the back? Yeah. He let but them stand I, up. There was one time I thought, well, your ornery thing, he, uh, well, she didn't need the sucker or whatever it was. I think it was a sucker of some kind she wanted in the store. And he didn't get it, so she said, well, can I go in there and get it? Well, he gave her, uh, he says, do you have some money? She says, yeah, I got this much. Will it be enough? And he says, well, that's going to have to do and it be enough. You go see. And so she went in there and she didn't have enough money to get him, get what it was. And he wouldn't let her have the penny. It was a penny that he was, well. And he said, I said, what did you be so mean to let her not get that? It was a penny, you know. He says, cause I told her she didn't need it. Hmm. Who's that? Who was it? It was Jeannie. Jeannie, yeah. <laughs> well. But I said, well, you rude thing, you. Oh, she was mad at her dad. And he wouldn't give me a penny, she said. <laughs> <laughs> a penny. I said, well, that was kind of rude. Yeah. That's all I said to her, but I told him, how could you trip her like that you know, when you knew that you, she was, she says he, he did, I didn't, th she, she didn't need that. So, yeah. there was times when I didn't think he was fair to him, but. I think he probably had it played on him, mm. <laughs> you know. It's usually how it goes. It's true. In his lifetime and thought it would be fun to do it to somebody else. Well, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't look at it like that. Mm -hmm. but, Anyway. Well, I suppose I should go say hi to my dad before we leave town. Even though yeah. I'm going to see him soon. At least go say hello. Your dad isn't... I don't think he... Well, he looks really good when he is here on Mother's Day. I never think they were all down here. Yeah. Dave and Judy was here, and Judy, uh, uh, yeah, Dave and Judy, and then Joyce was here, and Jeannie were all 
here. Then Jim came, right as uh, Jerry was, and Jer and Dan, uh, Joan, Judy, and Dave had left too. Oh. Mm -hmm. Jeannie was the only one that was here. Mm -hmm. But, yep. Did you, were you starting to say that he hadn't been looking well, but he looked good on Mother's Day? Huh? Were you starting to say that he wasn't very well, but he looked good on Mother's Day? Is that what you started to say? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I don't see him very often, but it kind of goes like that. Some, you know. Back and forth. Joan didn't say anything on the phone, so he must be doing oh, okay. Gee, you know how Judy did, or uh, Jeannie did? She had this thumb. Uh, they don't know how she got it clear out of joint, out of her joint. It's joint. Wow. And so she had to have that thumb put in, and she had to ha hang it up, have it way up here. Oh. That was when, on Monday, Mother's Day, she had. So there she was with this thing tied around her, her thumb about in her face. And uh, she, she wasn't supposed to take it off. And they took it off, and the thing went right back where, where it was. Where, where had it? Well, it got back out of joint again. So she had to get it put back in there again. Mm. How odd. And uh, now, so now she goes around. <laughs> she's left handed, so, you know, it's her hard right hand. Oh, that's good. But why would that thing pop clear out of there? Hard to say. Huh. But does she keep it up now? Is she following directions this time? I don't know what she had on today. Did she went with another lady up to way up there to that in the hills there? She must not have gotten back yet, cause she's got her. She says, I'll come back and get my stuff out of your way when I get back. No. Dan, I bet you, is wishing she was back because he's been take, having to take care of Lil his uh, aunt. Oh. <laughs> She's still out there? Yeah. She weighs uh, about 89 pounds. Mm. Well, she can't be too much trouble then. She won't be. Poor thing. I don't think I'll ever be accused of that. It's, uh, well, no. No, she, you know, her husband shot, shot her, but it didn't. And then she has a bullet. Oh, for heaven's sakes. No, I didn't know that. No, really? He did. <sighs> and, and then he killed himself. <sighs> and he killed himself. But she did. Mm. And she's had to suffer all these years. Uh, well, how long ago was that? They were, they had two little boys. And they're all adults now. And, uh, yeah, they're grown. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so, she's never been able to, well, she did for there for a while, but and then later in life, she hasn't. She's only, she said, probably in her late 60s mm -hmm. right now. That's horrible. Her bo one of her boys is married, and the other one is still single. Still single and getting in trouble. Mm. <laughs> yeah, 
her, and, it's, and she's a very pretty lady. She is. She's small. Uh, she was down here. Uh, she had her to the doctor the other day, and uh, she, I don't know what their argument was, but Jeannie said something about my mom can still get up and walk and, and does her things, and he, she says, "Well, I bet you she isn't, and she's ninety." And she says, oh, she is not. And she, oh, she said, Deanie called me and she says, I want you to come, all I want you to do is to come and walk down to the walk to, store, to the store, to the car. And I said, what in the world for? And she says, I just want you to do it. And I didn't even know prayer. She was going to be in the car, and she and she says she's not no ninety. <laughs> you can believe her. Wow. No. no. <laughs> well. Well, she looks like she's just uh, nice and warm out there. I had sure door. And I went out there, and I said, I asked her afterwards, uh, she, I said, what in the world did you, was, did you have me do that? And she says, well, I told Pearl that, I told her that you could do that, and that you were ni 90 years old. She says, I don't, she didn't believe her, so she brought her up here. Showed her. Right. Uh, no, I wasn't. I hadn't been through what she has either. No. Poor thing. Yeah, it's awful. She just—it's awful. And I can I can see very easy how it is if you're just sitting around to not want to eat, and that should, it, it is, it's very easy to do. Because you don't. Oh, I've hated this winter like everything. 